Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 1,000 bucks. Now I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as I can. I'm gonna keep my rant into a minimum. And there's really not too many things that I don't like, so this shouldn't be hard to do. But you already know, grab your popcorn and your thought juice and get comfortable. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, white shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. Had to hit them with the long range knife hand. Okay, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Let me start off by answering the main question everybody been asking me all week long. You got the Z Flip 4. Should you upgrade and get the Z Flip 5? And the simple answer is yes, without a doubt. I, this is a no brainer right here, without a doubt. These are two totally different phones. Not to mention, if you pre-order from samsung.com, and let's take a second and really shout out Samsung on this one. Samsung is giving you 900 bucks. Think about that for a second. This phone is a thousand bucks. They giving you 900 bucks plus a $50 credit that means you upgrade in for 50 bucks. Now, I don't know about you, but me, I would upgrade any phone that I have right now for 50 bucks. If the iPhone 14 Pro Max came out with a new color tomorrow and I can upgrade for 50 bucks or 100 bucks, I'm doing that immediately. This is what you call a no brainer. Okay, this is a guaranteed upgrade. First of all, look at the difference in the outer displays. Okay, look Look at this outer display right here versus this outer display. That alone, even if that was the only difference, even if it was the same exact cameras, same battery, same processor, same everything, that alone is worth the upgrade. This one right here with this outer display, this is borderline gimmicky. Okay, this is kind of like a novelty phone. You know, you, you, you're always gonna have this phone unfolded. Maybe every now and then you get a phone call, a text message, you could check it from right here, set a little time up. But this is, like I said, borderline gimmicky. Now with this phone right here, this is a fully functional outer display that actually works. Okay, so should you upgrade? Hell yeah, I would upgrade immediately. Next question, which one do I like better? The Motorola, right, the Razer Ultra, the Razer 40 Ultra, or the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now, after using both of these, I'm going with the Galaxy. I will say this. Now, the Motorola does have some advantages. The outer display is 120 hertz, which in the real world, who cares? <laughs> you're not going to really be gaming on this outer display. If you're going to game on this, the most games you're going to play is some little thumb game like Tetris or something. You don't need 120 hertz on the outer display this small. But it's there. It's there. The biggest difference between these two phones is you got the full size, full size outer display, and it's just better to look at. But other than that, when it comes to the cameras, when it comes to the actual build quality, and when it comes to the display. Now with the Moto, I don't know if y'all hear it or not. You hear that crunchy sound? Let me do it by the mic. The screen has this, this kind of sound to it. And I, this happens on all of my Moto phones. All, right, all of my Moto phones, it has that, the build quality in this just doesn't feel as premium compared to the Galaxy. Now I do like the, <laughs> the faux leather back, right? the vegan leather back. Don't get me wrong. Let me say it like this. You can't go wrong with either one of these. Okay, either one. But my personal preference, and if you're heavy into the Samsung ecosystem, you got a Galaxy watch. You got a Galaxy computer, you got a Galaxy tab, you got a Samsung gaming monitor, Samsung smart TV. Why break the ecosystem? Rock out with this one. This display on the outside is only a little bit smaller than the Motorola, okay? You can't go wrong with either one of those. Personal preference, <laughs> I do like that sound. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. I do like that sound. But I would just go with the Galaxy. Better cameras, the hinge feels stronger, the build quality feels better. I mean, this, this, let me tell you this right now too, personal experience, I love this phone. I, I love this phone. 
Okay, so if I had to choose one, I would go with this over the Motorola. Now, before I get into everything that I don't like, let me just give y'all my overall opinion on this phone. I just said it. I love this, okay? I love this phone. This is the perfect phone if you're looking for a smaller phone that's gonna have a smaller footprint in your pocket or ladies in your purse. Well, let me not say ladies because a lot of y'all dudes is running around painting your fingernails, doing that little Uzi Vert dance, so <laughs> wearing these pocketbooks. So let me, let, let me not exclude y'all. Fellas, ladies who wear purses, this fits directly in your purse. I, I let Amaya play with this. She was like, nah, I, even though I don't like Android phones, this is so cute and small and compact. If you work in the medical field, I used to work on an ambulance. Back in the days, I used to have the StarTech, the Motorola StarTech. It's about the same size as this little small flip phone. This goes right in your front shirt pocket. So if you're a businessman, you wear three-piece suits, you don't want to have a big Galaxy Fold in your pocket pulling down your slacks. You want something like this, this is the perfect phone to take to the gym. Again, you're wearing sweatpants, you're wearing some tights. <laughs> I see a lot of dudes in the gym wearing tights now. You want a phone that has a smaller footprint. Not to mention, if you make content, okay? If you like to make little TikTok skits, little Instagram shorts, whatever you do, this phone right here, being able to unfold it like this and use the camera, if you like to take selfies, I'm gonna show y'all. When I show y'all my camera test, I took some dope selfies, some dope gym videos. I love this phone. And one of the things that I love about this phone is remember, it's not necessarily a flip because you don't have to flip it. You could rock this phone like this all day, all night and never flip it. You're gonna have always on display. And when it's unfolded, it has a nice sturdy feel to it. So it doesn't feel like it wants to fold back. Perfect example. When I do my camera test, when I see when I show you all the footage, you're going to see a lot of the same pictures that I took with the Galaxy Fold because that night I had both of those phones in my pocket. So I had three phones in my pocket. I had my iPhone, I had the Fold and the Flip. Now I got to keep going in my pocket like when I want to take a shot, I go on up, I take the shot with the uh, Flip, then I go in my pocket, take the shot with the Fold, walk to the next block, do the same thing over and over. With the Galaxy Fold, you're not going to unfold that and put it in your pocket, okay? Now, even me, I don't wear tight pants. Even my big ass pants, I can't have a unfolded Galaxy Fold 5 in my pocket. But this one, I just left it like this, put it in my pocket. Every time I took it out of my pocket, went right back to the camera, took a shot, put it back in my pocket. That is one underrated feature of this phone. You don't have to fold it, okay? <laughs> you could just leave it like this and rock out. So my overall experience with this phone is, I love it and I highly recommend it. Now, with that being said, there is a few things that I don't like, so let's talk about those first. Now, I promised myself I'm not gonna rant, so I'm gonna try to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this smoothly. The first thing I don't like about this phone is the presentation. Now, I read all of the comments from yesterday's video, and a few of the comments, <laughs> some of them made me laugh. One guy was like, oh, Floss, now I gotta use my banana head voice, because he's a fucking banana head. Oh, Floss, you're a whiny little bitch. You're always complaining about the presentation. Who cares about the presentation? Who cares about the box? You're just gonna take it out the box and use it. Who cares about the box? I do. Okay, I do. Y'all remember that movie Scarface? Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick Scarface analogy. Some of y'all cats is like Manolo. I right, remember Manolo. Some of y'all cats, remember when Tony Montana and Manolo was sitting in the car and Manolo was like, I say be happy with what you got. Some of y'all is Manolo. Y'all just happy with whatever y'all got. Me, I'm Tony Montana, okay? I want the world, Chico, and everything in it. And that comes with the box. I want the box, Chico, and everything in it. Perfect example, okay? Now, my next door neighbor, he hit me up, asked me if I was still selling this phone. I said, I'll give it to you because it's kind of old right now. So I went my little box collection and pulled this out. Look at the difference. Now, this phone is cheaper. All right, this is $1,000. Look at this phone right here. First of all, you got the carbon fiber look to it. Then when you open up the box, you got a bunch of stickers. You know, you got some pamphlets, pictures of cars. Then you go a little deeper, you got a case, okay? You got the big charger, the cable, the dongle. You got everything, screen protector. This is what you call one-stop shopping. It even came with a little certificate of authenticity. One-stop shopping. I'm not necessarily complaining about the box, the way it looks. I'm not saying, though, no, I want a bunch of pictures on the box. I want a bunch of Galaxy stickers and all of that. What I'm saying is, Chico, I want the box and everything in it. The case, the screen protector, 
Okay, maybe y'all don't want to give us the, char the, 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 the charging bricks anymore. I can live with that. Give me the case. Give me a screen protector. Give me the dongle. How cheap is it for y'all to throw a dongle in a box on a $1,000 phone? I mean, come on, man. Come on. I don't like this presentation at all. And I, I know a lot of y'all don't like when I talk about this, but I don't care. I'm going to keep talking about it because when I spend my money, I, I want my money's worth. Like a lot of y'all, y'all don't mind getting finessed. And here's another quick side note. You got to understand the difference between being a Samsung fan and a Samsung cheerleader. Some of y'all be acting like cheerleaders. Now me, I'm a Samsung super fan. I had all of the Galaxy phones since day one and even before that. I had Samsung phones before that. I got all the Samsung laptops, TVs, monitors, you name it. Every single Galaxy watch that came out, I did a video on it. I'm a Samsung super fan, but I'm not a cheerleader. When they try to finesse me, I'm gonna call them out. Some of y'all do not me do not mind being finessed. I don't like being finessed in no aspect of life. I right? don't try to be my friend just so you can ask me for some money. I right? don't don't try to cut corners on me and think I'm not gonna say nothing. No. Okay, I'm not a cheerleader. I'm a fan. So if you're a fan of something, okay, look, I'm a big 50 Cent fan. That last verse he dropped on that new Nas, uh, that new Nas album, it was trash. I'm a huge 50 Cent fan, but I gotta call it like I see it. That verse was trash. I'm a huge Samsung fan, but this kind of presentation for a thousand bucks, no, no case, no charger, no dongle, no headphones, no nothing. That's trash. Okay, I'm calling it trash, and I'm never going to stop talking about presentation because presentation is, look, think about it like this. I know, I, I promised I wasn't going to rant, but this should be making me mad. Life is all about experiences, okay? Yeah, you're only going to open this up once, and you probably throw the box away and all that, but you just went to work. You at work mopping the floor. Your boss come over, tell you, oh, pick them heavy-ass boxes and move them over there. You got to move them. Jump in this truck and drive this truck 30 miles over here. You got to go do that You got to you at work doing all kind of shit You don't want to do if you work in customer service you have mad small talk conversations with people You don't know people you don't like you in a bad mood. Hey, good morning. Can I help you? You don't want to help nobody I said that to say this you do all of that then when you get your paycheck and you buy something Don't you want to have a nice experience? Even if it's only for 10 minutes. Don't you want that unboxing experience? I do I do, and I, I was just talking to somebody on YouTube a, a little while ago. They bought that Asus, the ROG 6 Pro. That unboxing came with an unboxing mission. And when I, I, I didn't forget that. That was last year. Certain things like, you, you wanna enjoy these memories. You know? like, <laughs> life is all about experience. I want a good unboxing experience. This ain't it. That was my only rant. Now, I'm, 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 I'm trying not to rant shoes. Shoes told me to reel it in. She just looked at me and said, bro, you, you just said you're not gonna rant. I'm sorry. Presentation is trash. Next, the outer display. Now, as much as I love this one, it, it, the only thing is it, if Moto didn't drop this phone, I wouldn't be even talking about this right now. But now that you see the technology is there to have edge to edge outer display with the camera cut out just like that. When you look at the Samsung phone and you see that little crease, not crease, but you see that little, you know, where it cuts around the camera like that. It's gonna make you like, ah, oh, I wish I had this one. All right, so I'm, I'm not really, it's not really something that I don't like, but once you see this, it's hard to be like, look at this one and be like, oh, I wish it would have been like this. All right, so I wish the outer display, since it's, it's not like the technology doesn't exist. If this one wasn't around, you could say, oh, well, you know, how are they gonna make the screen around the camera? How are they gonna do that on the outer display? <laughs> you ain't gonna even answer that question. All you gotta do is go in your pocket and like this out. All right, so Samsung, if y'all know somebody who works for Motorola, hit them up and ask them how they did that and do that. All right, do that on the next one. Next, this is just some little petty gripe right here. You know, again, I already talked about this, but 60 hertz on the outer display. Let me get a little wipe down real quick. 60 hertz on the outer display. In the real world, it's not a big deal, but you know, when you're having your little phone wars and your friend pulls out, <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that I think about. Your friend pulls out the Moto Razor and you pull out your Galaxy and you're having your little phone wars. You know, I'm gonna be on some nerd shit like that. He gonna be like, man, shut the fuck up. You only got 60 hertz in your outer display. I got 120 hertz. But you're not gonna use it in the real world really like that, but he could say that. I don't like people, I don't like people being able to say they could do something that my, my product can't. I don't like that. Okay, so Samsung, 120 hertz on the outer display. If anything, just for bragging rights alone. Next, now this one ain't really that petty. No Samsung decks, all right, no wireless decks. If this phone was four or 500 bucks, you know, the mid-range Galaxy phones, I wouldn't be complaining about that. 
but this is a $1,000 phone. Regardless of how much you pay for your trading, some of y'all don't got a trading. All right, everybody ain't got a trading. Some of y'all just buying this off the rip. 1,000 bucks, no wireless decks. Y'all see my video for the fold yesterday, skip to the part when I show you how I use decks. That is a clutch feature, especially in this day and age where everybody got smart TVs, everybody got an external monitor. You want that laptop experience wirelessly. Okay, so Samsung, bring the decks to the flip line. Next, now this is probably my biggest gripe with this phone, and this is something that I said I really don't care about too much yesterday, but when you got a phone like this, you might care about it a little bit more, the battery. The battery on this phone <laughs> is semi-trash. Now, it's pretty small, it's 3,700 milliamps, okay? It, it, and not to mention, battery life is subjective. I like to have my phone on max brightness, max everything. So, you know, my battery life, now I'm back here a little bit moist. So, so I, I hope y'all don't hear this fan. The battery, I like to have my screen, my screen on max brightness at all times. If you look, hold up, let's scroll down. It's gonna always be on max brightness. My, my screen timeout is always gonna be on max screen timeout. Like, I like to use my phone different, not to mention I'm on social media all day. I'm getting a thousand and one notifications and messages and emails. Blah, blah, blah. So my phone battery might be different than yours. But for me, <laughs> for me my phone battery on this one is kind of trash. Now, to have a trash battery and then only have 25 watt fast charging speeds, that don't, that don't, the math ain't mathing. Okay, that's what, that's what the young cats are saying these days. The math ain't mathing. I don't wanna have to wait over an hour to charge up a phone that only has a 3,700 milliamp battery when I can pull out a Xiaomi phone with a 5,000 milliamp battery that I'm charging in 23 minutes. The math ain't mathing, okay? So Samsung, now look, I understand that if you put, look at that face. I understand if you put a bigger battery in this, it's gonna kind of defeat the purpose because one of the beautiful things about this phone is that it's small and lightweight. So okay, I get it. I don't want a 5,000 milliamp battery that's gonna make this bigger and heavier but increase the battery charging speeds. Now, one quick side note, like I said yesterday, I'm never gonna recommend you to not buy a phone based on a battery when products like this exist, okay? This is a 5,000 milliamp extended battery charger, or you got, now this is a MagSafe version, but even if your phone don't got MagSafe, you plug in a little cable, plug this in, so this is all you gotta walk around in your pocket to have basically almost 10,000 milliamps, real 9,000, almost, almost 9,000. My math ain't mathing. <laughs> My math is not mathing. 5,000 plus 3,700, do the math yourself. But the point I'm trying to make is you could just walk around with this in your pocket and you're good. So don't ever not buy a phone just because the battery is trash. Spend an extra couple of bucks and buy one of these. Now this is a case to five one, so you spend a little bit more, but you can get a cheap one. Look, I got another one right here. This one right here was 40 bucks. Get something like this, 40 bucks. When you get to work, put your phone on it. Even though this doesn't have MagSafe, all you got to do is turn this on, put your phone on it just like that. And you're good. All right, double your battery up. But to me, I would say the battery on this is, uh, I, this is one of those phones that I got to charge during the day. I got to charge this up at least once during the day. So I would say the battery is semi-trash, borderline trash. Now, y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt. I said there ain't really too many things that I don't like. There's a few petty things such as IR Blaster. Now, I, look, let me tell you another quick story. I just joined that Threads app. Soon as I join Threads, I get a notification. The very first Thread comment that I get is some motherfucker hating on me. <laughs> some motherfucker talking about, oh, I used to watch Floor's videos, but he always bitching about the IR Blaster. Nobody cares about that. A lot of things in life you don't care about because you don't have. Okay, look, put it like this. Right now, if you if you might not care about the stock market if you're not into stocks and bonds and all that. Who cares about the stock market? They ain't really doing nothing for me. But if you in the stock market and you invest in money and all of that and you getting returns, you're gonna care about that. <laughs> you're gonna care about that. A lot of people don't care about the IR blaster because they don't have a phone that has an IR blaster. Now, if you had old Galaxy phones and you used to love the IR blaster, why would you not like it now? Now you got a smart TV. Right? Maybe seven years ago when you had your, your Samsung phone with the uh, IR Blast on it, one of your old Galaxy Notes, you didn't have a smart gaming monitor, you didn't have a smart TV, you didn't have a smart refrigerator, you didn't have a smart projector. All these things that I just named, I could pull my phone out, my Xiaomi phones, my Oppo phones, and control them right from the phone. Y'all seen the little video I did upstairs in the office? I got seven different monitors from four different brands. 
So now I gotta have four remotes right here. No, at the end of the day, when I'm getting ready to go to sleep, I just turn on my eye, I'll blast them, like boop, 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 turn all of them off. All right, so I would like to see the IR Blaster make a return. It's not like we're talking about iPhones. Like, if I make an iPhone video and I'm bitching about the IR Blaster, yeah, then you got a right to call me a whiny little bitch because the iPhones never had an IR Blaster. But these Galaxy phones, they used to have them. I'm old enough to remember when they had them, so of course I'm going to miss them. I go, Samsung, please, all right, please. You listen to us once with the rotating bezel. Everybody said, bring back the rotating bezel. You listen to us. Bring back the IR Blaster. How hard is that? If you travel, the IR Blaster is going to be so clutch. Do some research. All right, okay, so the IR Blaster, that's the kind of petty. Next petty gripe, I said this also yesterday, MagSafe. This is another thing. If you don't have it, you probably think it's not a big deal. But once you start using MagSafe accessories, when you get in your car and you got that MagSafe charger, you go upstairs, you got the MagSafe wall mount, you know, by, by your bed. You go to the airport, they got all the little MagSafe charging stands everywhere. Once you use MagSafe, but for me, especially in the car, especially in the car, and let me see, do I got, oh, I left it upstairs. I think I got one right here. This is what I use MagSafe for the most. The MagSafe wallets, man. The, now this is the Ghost Tech ones. Oh yeah, th this one does work on this, look at this. The MagSafe wallets, when I go to the gym, I think I got the very same one in my, in my pocket upstairs, but MagSafe, man. Again, Samsung, you don't have to call it MagSafe, I understand. I gave y'all one free yesterday, the Magna Lock. Watch, next year, Samsung, come out with the Magna Lock, so this way we can use our little chargers, we can use little wallets, we can use... Me, personally, the thing I want most is for in the car. I want to get in the car and just put it on the MagSafe, let it charge up while I'm driving, and pull it off. Okay, I would like to see that. Next, this is another thing I would like to see on a flip phone. I want to see this. You hear that open sound? And it got a closed sound? Come on, part of having a flip is flipping it open. Now me, y'all know I'm a flipologist, so I flip it like that. But I like to have that sound. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know it's corny, I know it's corny. It's probably some nerd shit, but once you get, once you flip it with that sound, like somebody ain't looking to hit it, like one minute you just standing like this, and next minute you got a full size phone in your hand. Bro, that's a mini flex. That's a mini flex. So Samsung, give us the option to have a little opening sound. I don't really care about the closing sound, but I want an opening sound. Why not? I want open and close sound. Why not? I want the world, Chico. And the last thing. Now, this is this is for me because, like I said, I'm one of these people that I like to use everything on max. I don't like how the outer display, the maximum duration to leave it on is 30 seconds. I don't like that. See, if you go to settings, right, and you go to your cover, your cover screen, the cover screen timeout only goes to 30 seconds. I would like it to, to go all the way to 30 minutes because if I'm at work and I got it plugged in, I don't care about the battery. I would like to have it like this on the table, especially, you know, you go to dinner somewhere, you're trying to get your little flex on. I would like to have it in full brightness, full glory like this, okay? Don't force me to time out at 30 seconds. Give me the option to time out all the way up to 30 minutes. It's my battery, let me, let me, let me drain it the way I wanna drain it, okay? Now, with that being said, let's get into everything that I do like right after this quick commercial break. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now let's talk about everything that I do like, starting off with the build quality. Now this is a $1,000 phone and it definitely feels like it. Nothing cheapy, nothing plastic. Okay, you got the aluminum frame, the hinge is solid, Gorilla Glass for protection, it's IPX8 water resistant. This hinge stays up at multiple angles and when you unfold it, the difference in the display, this one kind of has more of a plastic feel to it, even though they're both plastic, but this one just feels like less, less plasticky. <laughs> if I can say that correctly, this one has a less plasticky feel to it. So this is an overall premium feeling phone. Next, let's talk about the always on display. Now it is customizable. I got mine set to my two home time zones, super bright. Okay, so if you got this on your table, you can easily see it. If you got it up on the dock, you can easily see it. Wireless charger, beautiful. Okay, so the always on display, fully customizable, just like any other Samsung phone. Next, let's talk about the biometrics. Now the fingerprint sensor works flawlessly. You got face unlock. Let's see if I can do that from behind the camera. Okay, now I got my glasses on, let's do that one more time. Okay, there's a face unlock. 
and it works like this also. So I'm gonna do face unlock, unfold it, bang, there it is. Fingerprint sensor, face unlock, they work flawlessly. All right, they work flawlessly. Excellent biometrics. Now, the star of the show is the outer display, okay? Let me go ahead and pop this open. If I swipe over once, you see all my notifications. And look how big that is compared to this. Y'all remember on this one, look at the difference in the notifications. All of this screen real estate right here going to waste, and you got that little, little corner on the bottom as opposed to this. Which one would you rather check your notifications on? Okay, <laughs> that's pretty dope. So you got all my notifications. If I swipe down, got all my quick toggles. I can adjust the brightness. Got camera. I could just take it right to the camera. Bon, that's me. <laughs> okay. Or if I swipe over. Now I got my weather. Okay, so this is all the weather right now, 77 degrees. Swipe over again. Okay, all my missed calls. Not to mention if I want to. Hold up, let me do that again. All right, so this is my home screen. Swipe over once. Make sure you download Samsung Goodlock. Now, one of my major gripes when I first got the phone is you can't use all of your apps. Once you download Samsung Goodlock, and the same thing works on the 4, but, you know, putting it on this display, who's going to be looking at Facebook on this little display? I mean, this is kind of gimmicky. But now, if I want to, hit add, right? We're going to hit add, open up the phone. Hold on, let me do that again. Okay. Open up the phone, right? Watch this. All right, so we... All of these apps right here, I can add right to the outer display. That's basically everything. Now, a few apps didn't work, but basically everything works from the outer display. Why am I zoomed in so much? I, everything works from the outer display. So when I take it back to my outer display, say I want to go to Facebook. Look at this. I'm on Facebook. I can read a full post. Okay, this is Facebook right here. Okay, fine. Okay. I can go crazy on Facebook. Let's exit out of that. I can watch a full-size YouTube video. Okay. Now let's see. Um. Oh yeah, I was just watching my man's my man's. I was watching. I started watching my man's Z Flip Five video. So they have a sixty hertz refresh rate. Yeah, I was watching my man's Z Flip Five video. Now usually I don't like other videos before I watch mine's, but I'll show you what happened. There, somebody tagged me on a post on Twitter. And I was like, oh, let me see what's going down. And he said his video was long at 18 minutes and 46 <laughs> seconds. He said his video was long. Uh, bro, I'll be, making, I'll be making intros about that length. But anyway, if I want to go back, let's go to library. All right, so say I want to watch a little court case. I can watch one of my court cases from the outer display. Okay, let's exit out of that. Okay. Now, oh, yeah, one more thing I want to show you, too. Watch this. You see? It shows me what's playing right here. So if I click on that, it takes me right back to YouTube. And that works with music also. Which, um, why not just demonstrate? Let's go to YouTube Music. Okay, now say I wanna, I'm listening to some music. Let me turn the volume down. All right, so I'm listening to some music. If I turn the display off, turn it back on. Let's go home. I'm a little bit moist. <laughs> you see it right there? The music is playing. So if I tap that, it takes me right to the music. So this is one of the reasons that I use this for, like when I got the phone uh, closed like this, but I'm listening to my music, skipping different songs, listening to some Mob Deep. I don't know what that is. Uh, you know, just a little Drake. Have your music on the table like this without having the phone open. All right, this is cool. So this way, if you want to flex, I like, because the outer display only stays on for, <laughs> what, um, 30 seconds. Flex it like this, watch a video and keep it on like that. All right, so let's um exit out of that. Okay, so that's my music right there. And again, this works for so many apps. Oh, I just uh, clicked on one. Let's see. Um, oh, look at this. If I want to do Netflix, this is the full Netflix app. Okay, if I want to watch um The Punisher. Okay, watch a full movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is pretty dope. Like, again, tr try watching a movie on this outer display. It it's straight gimmicks. Straight gimmicks. All right, and, and, and I'm not going to do any gaming, but everything works. So let's do one more. Take it over to Instagram. Okay. All right, we're going to Instagram like this. I can actually watch Instagram videos. Okay. Sexy red. <laughs> and you can read the comments and all that from the outer display. 
Now, it's pretty small and all that, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It's, you know what I'm saying? It works, though. The point is, it works. Okay? Oh, I mean, uh, what the? Okay, so let's exit out of that. <laughs> Instagram a little bit spicy. Gmails, everything works. So all of the apps work. This is all. These are the ones that I use the most, but they all work. Now I got the weather. All of my missed calls, which I'm about to show you in a minute. My three favorite people. My alarms. Calendar. Okay, we got a little stopwatch. Timers. My steps. Look how many steps I did today. <laughs> Okay, some more good lock stuff. Okay, yeah, the, 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 the step thing might be inaccurate because I took, a, I know I took more than zero steps. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, but, we'll see. Matter of fact, hold on, let's see. Let, let's see how many steps I, oh no, I didn't have this watch on, no wonder, all right. <laughs> and my stock market, Um, let's see, what's going down. Okay, let's make sure, my, I gotta check my portfolio. All right, so the outer display, fully functional. Let's exit out of this, and I wanna show you something. Now watch this. Let me show you how it looks if you get a phone call. Okay, so I'm gonna call this up real quick. Oh, look at this. Now, as soon as I open my phone, this is my man, Kirill Petrov. Uh, he just bought this phone, and we were just talking about this earlier. And when I say we, I mean us in this video. Look at the difference in his old phone. Look at the presentation. Remember these old phones used to come with the, the charging cables, a case, a belt clip? The books, CDs, came with bad stuff compared to this. We was just joking about this earlier. But I want to, all right, let me do a quick phone call. Okay, let's um, call this up and see how it looks when you get a phone call. All right, look at, look at that, yeah. This is dope, so you're getting a phone call right now from, without even opening this up. I could go ahead and answer this, talk on the phone, or I can hang up, boom, right? Now, let me show you something else. Let's do a text message. Okay, I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put your, uh, your, all right. So watch this. Okay, got a little message alert right here. So I click on that, unlock the phone, and look at this. Now I can actually type messages from the outer display. I'm gonna type "calm down." Calm down, bro. Okay, hit "calm down," close this up. Okay, now I got that message right here. Let's reply one more time. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks. Now here's how it looks when you get a message. Let me wipe it down so y'all can really see. Here's how it looks when you get a message and your display is off. Okay, bang, new notification. Now I got mine set to where it ain't gonna just blow me up. So if somebody had the phone, if somebody's at the table, it ain't gonna be like, hey daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gonna be some message like that. But once I go to my messages, Look at this. Fully functional keyboard. Hold up, I'm trying to go back. You see, I got all my notifications. Okay. Now, I, I, I just noticed, I, got, I still got, I was about to say, I got music on. Hold up. Let's exit out of that. All right, see? Now, we'll do this again. <laughs> now, if I want to send a message, it's still on. <laughs> if I want to send a message, I get to go right to my messages. Okay, look at this. Now I got some presets up. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna do no problem. How about this? Uh, G E A D. Y'all know what that means, right? Keep it moving. This is not a novelty and it's not a gimmick. And once you start using it, now I know some of y'all y'all might be thinking like, oh, you know, I'm getting accident like it's not really registering when I touch it. But I'm back here, I'm sweating, so you know it's kind of hard to do this. I, I, got, I got this little fan on. It's kind of hard to do certain things when you're moist. <laughs> That's the last time I'm saying moist again in this video. But my fingers is a little bit moist, so it's making it a little bit hard for me to swipe on stuff. It is what it is. Okay, look at that. Okay, YouTube still playing. Exit out of that. And if you want, you could change different um, lock screens. Of course, I'm using a custom one, so I'm just using the beam. Why not? Okay, this is YouTube. <laughs> this is dope. This is dope. Fully functional. All right, so the outer display. Now, let's talk about the inner display. Again, you don't have to fold this up. You don't have to flip it. You can leave it face down like this if you want, but I'll leave it like this. Most of the time, I just leave it like this. Now I got the real Samsung always on displays, real notifications, time, date, battery percentage. 
Then when you pop it open, now of course I gotta have, <laughs> I gotta have a black wallpaper. I don't know why I did. Why did I do that? Let's do um, go to wallpapers, right? All right, so let's go. Let's see what we got on the live wallpapers. Okay, we got a few. Yeah, for some reason, now I noticed my transparent clock is not working on this one. That's why it's black. Anyway, let's just do um, folding. Okay, and we set this one. Bang. Okay, so we got the folding wallpaper. You see, you got the little little images. I like that. Okay, I like that one. You know, not to mention, if y'all like the live wallpapers, let me show you how to how to get them. All right, let me show you how to get the live wallpapers. All you got to do is go, go to get more wallpapers, right? Now, if you want the dope ones, this is what you do. All right, if you really want the good ones, I'll do that later. Okay, I got to do it right now. I'll, 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 I'll do that in a minute. Matter of fact, let's do it right now, because I, I want y'all to see this. All right, so if you want to get the fancy live wallpapers like this, make sure you do your little update for the Galaxy Store. I'll leave a link for another video I did with a bunch of cool ones right here. But this is all you got to do, right? You just got to go to Get More Wallpapers. You're going to go to Top, and then go to Top Paid. Okay, when you go to Top Paid, you see the, the car one pops up immediately. Okay, now if you like this one, then you scroll down and you go to more from that same company. And this company right here that makes the car, they make the New York video. Okay, you hit download. Now, it says download because I already bought this one. But you hit that one, let's go ahead and apply this one. Look at that. Done. Right, so go to top paid if you want the dope ones. Now, they got some that's free, but the top paid is where you're going to find the dope ones. Uh, matter of fact, I thought I installed that. Let's um let's go let's go back. Okay. Let's go to wall. See, well, you know, wallpapers. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's on. I did do it. Okay, let's see. To the lock screen. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. I see this is this is one of my other gripes. I see. I'm so old. I remember you used to can you could you could uh, you be able to install these as wallpapers. Now they're only going to work on the lock screen. All right, so you're paying $1.99 or whatever the price is to get the cool lock screen. All right, so let's look at this actual display. Let's go to YouTube. Let's pull up a video real quick. All right, so here's how it's going to look when you're watching your YouTube videos or your Netflix or your Amazon Prime. And on a side note, Amaya just posted this video a little while ago, and it got me all emotional because, you know, Amaya's going back to college. So it's little, she did a little video of all of our dinners that we had in the last couple of weeks. But look at the display beautiful display you could go full screen if you want okay and when you're watching these videos you're not going to see that crease okay this is one of our little fine dining videos that's me being a fat ass okay but this display i'm telling you don't let that crease fool you because when you're looking at it straight on like this let's let's skip to a scene that's a little bit brighter okay all right watching a mile let's see hold up Right, here it goes. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. You can't see that crease at this angle like this. You can only see the crease if you look for it. If you go like this, okay, I'm going to look for the crease. But if you're watching a video like this, you're not going to see that crease. Look at this. It looks just like a regular Galaxy phone. Excellent viewing angles. Excellent knitage with the brightness. This is pretty dope. Now, if y'all want to see this full video, <laughs> because it is kind of silly, I'll leave a link for that right there. It's the fine dining video. Again, this is on one of my favorite videos. Anyway, this display is beautiful. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rebier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, type of sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, type of sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass living? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, hello. Definitely nice and loud. And if you get the phone closed, here's how it's going to sound on the table. 
Excellent. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Top and bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. The speakers on the uh, Flip 5, they sound pretty good. All right, so now let's talk about the processing power and multitasking. Snapdragon 8 Generation 2, you already know what it is. Go to Samsung.com. Everything is fast and smooth. Opening web page. Okay, now this is the full website. Let's see, the pre-orders. Okay, the pre-orders is getting ready to end. So if y'all really like this phone, y'all better jump on this pre-order and get the matter of fact, let's let, let's see right now. Jump on this pre-order right now and see if we get that 900 bucks. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, Galaxy. Okay, we do unlocked version. Okay, 512 gigs. Okay, 1,000 bucks. Look at all these different colors. Remember yesterday I was griping about the fold, only had a few colors. This one has a nice amount of colors. I will pick one, look, trading. All right, let's do Samsung trading. Mobile phone, yes, yes, yes. Select brand, Samsung. Select the device. Z Flip 4. Oh my God, look at this. The S23, 900 bucks. Z Flip 4, 900 bucks. Now, I would not trade an S23 for this, S23 Ultra, but a Galaxy Z Flip 4, 900 bucks. That's what you're getting right now. Z, all right, so we know, matter of fact, we'll do Z Flip 4. 900 bucks, bro. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> okay? That's kind of crazy. 100 bucks. Now, I, I don't see what happened with that $50 instant credit. Maybe that was something else, but still, like I said, for 100 bucks, that's a guaranteed trading. Now, if I want to, split screen multitasking. So as I'm looking for trade-ins, I can be on Facebook at the same time. We could do a quick swap. Okay? Or we could just save that. Okay? Okay, now we just uh, add an app here, pin it to the home screen. Let's add it to the app's edge panel. Okay, bong, just like that. So now at any moment, when I exit out of this, when I take it to my edge panels, you see I got a few already. Say I want to go to YouTube and the internet at the same time, press one button and take me to YouTube and the internet at the same time. That's pretty dope. Now say I go to Facebook, just like any other Galaxy phone, we could do the pop-ups, okay? Put in the little ball. Now I could do something else like I could be on Twitter. And then while I'm rocking Twitter, oh, here's the, this is the tweet right here. Okay, let me see. Hold up. If I find that tweet. Yeah, my Z Flip 5 video turned out to be way longer than I expected. Almost 19 minutes. Right? Going to give Flossy Carter a run for his money. This is my guy right here, Tech Odyssey. All right, make sure you go watch his videos too. Cool character. But in the middle of reading that tweet, I can open this up. Okay? I could go full screen. Or we could do more pop-ups. Let's do, let's do all these pop-ups. So we'll do pop-up, minimize, okay? Let's do uh -huh. Instagram, pop-up, minimize. Okay, anything else we need to minimize? Let's do um, Google Chrome, pop-up, minimize. Now, I could be chilling on anything else. Let's go over to, let's see, let's go over to uh, blah, blah, blah. Anything safe? <laughs> I, got, I got too many safe apps. Say I'll go to Voxer. Nah, I don't even mess with Voxer. I'll go, but I want to take it to Instagram. So while I'm on Instagram, oh, look at those glasses. Pretty sick. I got all three of my other apps running in the background. There's my Twitter, X. Let me say X. There's my Facebook. There's my Chrome. Okay, so the processing power on this, top of the food chain, multitasking. You do got your edge panels. Okay, so swipe over once, all of my people's edge. We could do this. Now, this is a fun one. Let me show you how to make these quick memes. Let's exit out of this one. Let's see. Um, what's on YouTube? What's going down on YouTube that we could actually meet? All right, so say I want to meme myself, right? Um, exit all of those. I'll turn this. All right, so I want to make a meme. Say if I kind of if, if I kind of miss a Maya and I want to do a quick meme, we'll do animated GIF, right? Hit record. Okay, now we get up to 15 seconds. I'm gonna catch Amaya being a fat ass. Then I hit stop. I can just go ahead and pin this. Exit out of that. And it's my little motivation right here. Or if I want to, pin it small like that. 
or I could just share it. All right, so make your little animated GIFs. Now, if I would have been doing something silly, you know, look, you see I got the video going at the bottom and the GIF at the top. Yo, this is a multitasking beast right here, okay? So that, that's a little fun feature right there, and it works even better. Let me show you um, when you're on Instagram. So say you want to repost something. <laughs> Y'all see blue face baby moms here? I not say I, say I thought say I thought that was funny, right? Say, let me show you what I'm talking about. Say I thought that this was funny. All right, say I thought that was funny, and I wanted to um, send somebody this real quick. I'd go to rectangle, and you see it automatically cut that rectangle out, and then now I can re-upload this, or I can just share it to somebody else real quick. All right, so make sure you use this tab right here. If you animate it, your oval pin insert. I got a whole bunch of quick tasks. I like stopwatch timers. Take a screenshot. We got the weather, okay? And again, all your apps, if I want to, take it over to messaging just like that. All right, so the process on this, like I said, top of the food chain. All right, so now let's try a little gaming. Of course, I got to ask for a nine queued up. Here we go. Now look closely. You do not see that crease in the middle of the phone. And like I said, your eyes automatically adjust to it so fast. You're not even going to notice, trust me. <laughs> trust me. Wait, hold up. Oh, okay. My man was upside down. Let's see if I can do the two-wheel landing. Look at that, look at that. A little drift. Keep it pushing. All right, look at that. Okay. <laughs> now, gaming on his phone. Let me turn this over a second. Gaming on this phone is what you would expect from any phone that has the Snapdragon 8 Generation 2. But I do want to show you something real quick. All right, check this out. Now, I can run this same game from the outer display. And here's how it's going to look. <laughs> now, I don't know why would you choose the small display if you could just unfold it. But say you want to. You can. Okay. Now, this is where the 60 hertz comes into play. All right. I know 120 hertz in this, but look, we gaming this full Asphalt 9 on this little mini display. Now, this would be cool if you want to just do some one hand. you stand in the grocery store. You might want to just Asphalt 9 with one hand. Why not? Okay. Oh, I like this level right here. Hold up. Now, if I open up the phone. Okay, resume. Just like that. Okay, hold up. What level is this? I, did I ever make it to this level? This is level two? <laughs> did I ever make it to level two? Let's see. This game is actually fun, though. I don't know why I'm, I always start off on the same level. This is actually a fun little game right here. It ain't too hard. That's what she said. Anyway, <laughs> gaming on this phone, pretty fun, though. All right, so let's talk about the camera. Now, there's a few different ways to open it up. You can just grab your phone, hit the power button twice, and it'll open up just like that. Then you swipe over the video. Or you can just swipe the little camera icon. But let's go ahead and open this up first and go to the main camera suite. You got a bunch of different shooting modes. So you got portrait mode. Now you don't get to do the wide angle or close up shots in portrait. You only got one portrait mode. You got photos, which you could do wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. You got videos. Now for videos, you got 4K 60 frames per second on the front and on the back, no 8K video. Then you got more, so you got pro mode, pro video, single take, night shot, food, panorama, super slow motion, slow motion, hyperlapse, portrait video, one of my favorites, and director's view. Now this is my favorite part, and shoes came in right on time, this is my favorite part, using it in flex mode like this. Let me show you something real quick. Now I'm gonna pull up a picture I took in the gym just now. Let's go to my, let me go to my camera. I should have had this already preloaded, but look at this. Okay, so I'm in the gym, and if I want to get a dope selfie, I just this is me actually taking a picture of me taking a picture, right? <laughs> but if, if I'm in the gym in my locker room, right, after I just did a full workout, and you see the guns is blazing, okay, I want to get my post-workout photo, all you got to do is open this up, then you're going to hit this. I hit the wrong button. Let's push this up. You're going to hit cover screen preview, and look at this. Now you, now you can see. All right, so this, this is pretty dope. I got it set to a timer, so now you can get a nice pose. 
and take your gym shots. Let me turn the timer off. Okay, shoes, look at shoes. Let me activate white shoes. Activate shoes. Okay, look, as soon as I say activate shoes, look what she does. As soon as I say activate shoes, look at, look at this photo right here. Activate white shoes. And look at the pictures. That's pretty dope. But the best part about this, if you like to make your content, okay? Now I can make my content. I can have it at a nice angle like this and be talking my shit and see exactly what I'm doing. You like to take selfies, okay? The person that's taking the selfie, shoes, you see what you look like? <laughs> the person that's taking the selfie, get to see what they look like. This is probably one of the best features of this phone. I love it. Again, seeing is believing. So take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Now I gotta catch these cute moments. Okay, and if you go to video, look at this. Record in the video and just leave it like this. This is perfect for if you make TikTok videos or if you make videos in the gym. Now I'm gonna make a video in the gym one of these days this week because somebody's trying to call me out saying I can't do 40 reps or 225, which, <laughs> you know, I don't know why, who started that little rumor? Look, there's a big rumor right now. Let me just get in. Matter of fact, I don't gotta make another video because I can just pull up this one right here. Let's, let's, let's pull this up. Let's check the date on this video right here. It, it ain't even that, it ain't like I'm going back 10 years. Let's go back. A few scrolls on Instagram. Okay, how, oh, did I pass it? I must have passed it already. Hold up, because it, it wasn't even that long ago. I just posted that shit. Oh, look at this. All right, this is from, this is from October. Okay, this is in, in October, October 10th, 2022. All right, not even a year ago. Me doing the 40 reps. Okay, like, you know, it is what it is. But now when I go to the gym, all this time I've been recording shoes. See, now let's, let's go, go to video. Now look at this. I can watch this video back. I just been watching shoes, chilling. Use this as a trackpad. I had different photos that I took. Oh, I got some gym selfies. Hold up. I got some gym selfies. Like this was in the. This was one of my gym selfies in the locker room. Look at the guns coming back, bro. I'm back up in the gym. You know what I mean? Look, you bro. Look at look at the guns, bro. <laughs> you see me? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
All right, so one more thing I wanted to mention with flex mode, it doesn't only work for the camera, it works for other apps such as YouTube. So say I'm watching this video right here. Okay, this is the same fine dining video with Amaya and I wanna take it to the comments. Now I can be up in the comments while I'm watching the video. And with this hinge, I can have it at multiple angles. So say I wanna just leave a comment. This is lit, all right? This is lit. Bong, just like that. Hit send, read all the other comments whilst watching the video. Okay, so flex mode is a major go. All right, so now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 1000 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now this phone does have wireless charging, so you might as well get yourself a nice wireless charger, full animation, okay? Now I can see the time, date, and my battery percentage. So when I wake up in the morning, First thing I do, pick up the phone. Fingerprint sensor works flawlessly, but you do have face unlock. Now, if I wanna watch a video, I can just tap right on that video I was just watching, okay? And I can just watch this from the outer display, or I can just have music on. Let me just kinda of rewind a little bit. I can just have this on like this, have it on the charger playing music, connected to my Bluetooth speaker while I'm getting dressed. Then, the first thing I wanna do, let's check my notifications. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. Check my notifications. Okay, we got a Queens weather alert. Bunch of YouTube videos coming out, some uh, work stuff, motion in the front yard. Okay, there's all my notifications, and I can just hit clear, bong, just like that. Now remember, I didn't even open up the phone yet. Swipe over all of my apps, okay? Now the first thing I like to do when I wake up though, is I like to hit Google. So I'll unfold it. Now I don't have to unfold it like a sucker. I can just do my flip like that, bong, you know what I'm saying? Take it over to Google. Now, I've been looking for a new camera right here, so I've been doing a lot of Sony A7, uh, uh, looking for comparison videos. So that's what Google has recommended me. If y'all into cameras, let me know which one should I get, the ZV-E1 or the A7. I hit my man Tight Shirt Terry up. I think he told me to get the um, the ZV-E, but we'll see what it is, though. We'll see what it is. Let's see, um, Keanu Reeves, 428 million. He's one of the most humblest actors. I, I respect him a lot. New York City and store for huge lines is practically giving away cameras. Okay. Okay. iOS 17 launcher for Android. Okay. I'm interested. You gotta like that. I'm interested. <laughs> Let's see. Um, the, the Beat Studio Buds Pro, they make the AirPods Max hard to recommend. The difference between the Studio Buds Pro, I mean the Studio Beats, let me say that again. The Studio, the Beat Studio Pro and the AirPod Max is really the build quality. All right. This is cheap plastic, AirPod Max. Titties, y'all remember that video? Titties. Let's see, um, okay, the Xiaomi Mix Fold, four, Mix Fold 3, August 14th? Hold up, what's today? Damn, today's the 10th, that's this week? Oh, look at the camera setup on that. Hold up, let's, let's, um, let's peruse, let's peruse. Okay, so we can only see, does that look like, is that a display on the back? Oh, that just says Leica, okay. Okay, look, you know what look at Xiaomi, okay. Xiaomi said, okay, one plus, y'all had y'all delays, we're just gonna swoop up in there right now. All right, so this is how their Google feed is gonna look, and see if I miss anything. Street Fighter Six jewelry will break your heart with a drop dead gorgeous cosplay. Okay, well, it's cosplay, cosplay. When I say cosplay. <laughs> the Continental 2 movie trailer, I just watched that, looks, looks interesting. Okay, so this is how I get all my news. Exit out of that. Next, we gotta do a little work, so I go to my Gmail. Okay, do a little bit of work, and then for my Gmail, if I want to reply to something, I like to reply like this, so I can type on my keyboard. And he said, this is how I do my work segment of the day, keep it moving. All right, so there's your emails. Now again, this is Android 13, so all of the cool widgets. My music, what was I just listening to? This is my song right here, Future. <laughs> Wait for you. <laughs> anyway, see, I like that widget right there, the turntable. I can play and pause just like that. Netflix, everything works. All right, so let's take it over to X. Okay, let's get a fresh refresh. Now, like I said, usually before I do my video, I don't watch anybody else's video because I don't want to get biased. I don't want somebody to say, oh, well, I hate this, and then all of a sudden, I hate it too. But I was scrolling through the mentions, and um, this is what I just seen. Let's see. Let's see, yeah, somebody, somebody put me in a top five. I respect it. 
I respect it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Um, yeah, I seen this tweet right here with this with my man Tech Odyssey. That's why I ended up clicking on this page. And, and you know, when somebody when somebody mentions me, I like to see what they're working with. And he looked like a cool dude, so I'm gonna respect him. Let's see anything else. Oh, look, look at this. Uh, this is why they can't give y'all. This is why they can't give y'all no internet, man. They should have never gave you mm, internet, yo. Look at this, yo. Somebody got me not only smacking a banana head, but now they got the chair. All right? <laughs> they got the Montgomery chair, the Montgomery, Alabama chair. <sighs> y'all play too y'all play too much, man. Y'all play too much. All right, anyway. So let's see. Um, anything we need to see here? Okay. I love Flossy Carter telling those foolish Samsung Knights. Congratulations, just bought the same phone twice. Come on, bro. That, that, come on, bro. You see, and this this is what I love about the phone community. This this tweet right here is what I love about the phone community. Look, man, just because you got Apple, we got Samsung, we having our little phone wars. At the end of the day, we all trolling, we all having fun, we all like to talk shit. And I, I, this is what I like to see, man. You know, a friendly, friendly trolling. I, that's what I like, yeah. A friendly trolling. Let's see. I absolutely love Flossy Carter's reviews. He he, he maintains authenticity representing the voice of the people. That's why I'm not gonna stop complaining about these bullshit presentations just for comments like this. This comment right here is why I do that, okay? People people want people want a voice of the people because honestly, I don't give a fuck about charges. I got 2,000 charges in the house, but I'm the voice of the people. I said that kind of hard just now, right? All right, let's see, anything else? <laughs> let's see, now let's see what did I miss. Okay, look at this. What's up, look at the great, great dealer now. Okay, let's see, Z Fold 5. Classic. What's the total? Let's see. Okay, six hundred and seventy-four bucks for the Z Fold Five. That's not. That's really not a bad deal. But it depends what phone you coming from. What did he trade in? Galaxy Watch for one ninety-three. That's that. That seems like a pretty good deal. That seems like a pretty good deal. BMW M8 Grand Coupe Venom. Word. Word. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tech is life. Let's see. Uh, I'm Flossy Carter. Real reviews delivers tech news, trending topics, and the thug resume. You know what I'm saying? Is who this BG? Is it my man? Yeah, this my man BG Tech Life. All right, this is my, my, my man. This is my man OG Bobby. We go back mad years. This is one of my guys here. Okay, anyway, so the Snyder Cut. Had to drop the Snyder Cut on these cats. Let me get it. Like that one. Not... Okay. Anything we need to talk about here? Thinking of trading my iPhone 13 Pro Max? I would not do it. I, I would not do it unless unless you had a 12, 11, 10, 9 iPhone. Then try a Samsung. I, you know, get off Apple's nuts for one year. Try something different. And that goes for y'all Samsung Knights. I don't don't just be shitting on the Apple Mafia all day, every day. If you never used an iPhone in five years, try it. You might like it. <laughs> you might like it. You're gonna miss you're gonna miss some multitasking and a few things, but you might like it. I, you might like it. Anyway. All right, so that's um that's that's X. Now again, if I want to, I could just let's get him pop this open, leave this open, because at any moment I want to come back. Okay, now my, my fingers, I keep hitting the wrong one. All right, so there it is. Next, what's after that? Let's go to Facebook. Okay, let's see what's going down on Facebook. Okay, it seems like I only have a few friends because every time I log on to Facebook, I get the same same post. Well, that that I actually only log on Facebook when I'm doing these RDA tests. No one hurt you like family. That's deep. That's a little deep. Harlem Bling. All right, now shout out to Harlem Bling. They want me to shoot a video for them. I'm still contemplating on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, they want me to shoot a video, but they want me to send the merch back afterwards. Like, bro, you know the fuck I am? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not even kidding, though. Let's see. Um, okay. Not everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, DR. Okay, we got the G-Shock. The G-Shot Putex, okay. All right, this is my niece right here, I'm smiling. Everybody happy. All right, look at the Louis, the Louis bump box. Okay, what's the most overrated fast food? Popeyes. Popeyes, Popeyes tastes like ass. You won't, I only like Popeyes after I smoked about 12 blunts, I drink about a pint of Hennessy, then Popeyes be tasting good. If you wake up on a regular day and just eat some Popeyes, you're gonna be like, yo, where's the chicken? This is all breading and grease, where's the chicken? Where's my chicken? Yo, who remember, um, um, what was that movie, King, King of New York? Remember King of New York at the end? I'm a movie buff, so I remember a lot of lines from movies. Who remember King of New York at the end when um, Lawrence Fishburne, when he shot Wesley Snipes, and he was like, where my chicken? <laughs> Yo, to this day, every time I say where my chicken, that image flashes through my head. I, don't, I, I know, I know. 
Okay, Skull Candy, Pride Month is over. Y'all kind of a little late to the party. All right, anyway, so here's how you... Okay, all right. All right, so here's how you... Uh, <laughs> this is Facebook? Okay, ain't really nothing going on. Hold on, let me see. Now, look at my brother. Now, my, look, this, this is my brother right here. This, this, this motherfucker, he just got his... He got his um concealed carry permit. Now, this cat is John Wick, yeah. This is Mook Wick right now. He don't play around. All he do now is is go to the range, buy a bunch of guns, which I, I ain't mad because I got a free security guard now. Look at look at this dude. Look at this dude. I, I got a free security guard now. Shout out to Mook. Yeah? Let me kind of like that too. That's the case when I was on. I hit him up. All right, bring that thing thing with you. All right. Anyway, so let's go ahead and um let's let's minimize this one too. Keep it moving. All right. So next we we'll go to TikTok. Okay, Mike Tyson versus Ryan. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Now, see, sometimes these little minimize they get getting away. Now, what did this guy just do? Hold up. <laughs> yo, these are yo. What the, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, no, okay. Watch the hat. Watch the hat. Bro, Thundercat symbol. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Y'all catch me having way too much free time. Somebody seen that video said, let me go home and make a Thundercats video. Like, y'all catch me having a lot of time. And I'm here for that. I'm here for the memes. Okay, did that, look at this basketball player right here. This is that girl from, um, I, I believe, what, LSU? <laughs> she kind of dragging a wagon. I ain't mad at that, though. All right, look. look the, okay, this is what happens when you grapple with a UFC. Triangle chokehold incoming. <laughs> Who that, Logan Paul? <laughs> he got that triangle placed on him expeditiously. Yo, one thing I will say about Logan Paul and Jake Paul, whether you love him or hate him, these motherfuckers be working out. And you got to respect that. I just had this conversation with somebody. They was like, oh, Jake Paul is trash and all that. Let me see you go in the ring for 10 rounds, even against a washed up MMA fighter. And, and Nate Diaz ain't even really washed up like that per se. But you go 10 rounds with Nate Diaz and then come talk shit. Like, I respect Jake Paul for working out. Now, I still got to put him to the test against some real fighters of his age and caliber, but you can't deny that cat be in the gym, and so do Logan. Them, them cats is in great shape. And as a dude who's a fat fuck and trying to get back in shape, I respect that kind of stuff. Now, as soon as I say that, is this dude just rap? Hold up. Did he just rap a, a Philly cheesesteak in a pizza? Did he just do that? And am I, am I just... You see, now, this is the kind of shit that be making me mad, bro. This is the kind of shit that be making me mad because I want this. I want this. I right, had to lose belly fat. Okay. And get a six-pack. Do this every morning. All right. Three sets of 15. All right. You know, see, I'll be watching videos like this, too, because I'm, I'm, I'm about to start doing this stuff. Not yet, but... Oh, look at that chair right there. You see, this, this is why I can't get the abs because then I end up buying some shit like this. And instead of doing my... Instead of doing this, I'll be doing this. All right, so here's how your TikTok looks. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, bartender, yes. Whatever she's having, bring us around to those, please. All right, so that's how your TikTok is going to look. Oh, this. I, now, I watched this video earlier on a different arm um, on, on Instagram. The sound of that kick. Let me see if they got it on this one. Yo, the, listen to the sound. Hold up. Did they play it? Oh, Yo, bro, the sound of that kick, blood curling. Oh, okay, what's this now? Hold up. Hold up. I'm, I, you, you know, y'all going to learn, yo. Y'all going to learn to stop messing around with these McDonald's employees because you got to remember, these McDonald's employees, this ain't their career. <laughs> like, a lot of them, this ain't their career. They just working there while they going to school or they working there, you know, just for some extra money. A lot of these cats, they will walk out of that job today. So they do not mind splashing you with a Mick coffee and going upside your Mick head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They do not mind at all. Okay, this is what you get in Brooklyn, a studio for 800 bucks. Yeah, I, but I, if you look at the window, I guarantee you the project is right across the street. Or as we say, the projects. <laughs> the projects is right across the street. If you're getting this for 800 bucks, look at this. Um, 25 East 19th Street. Yeah. There, there, there's some tenements. <laughs> yeah, you can get you, you can get a good deal, but you're gonna have to deal with them tenements. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so that's Instagram. I can do this all day. Let's keep it moving. Okay. Let's go over to Instagram. Okay. So we got my man Tony Yayo with J uh, J Cole. Okay, that's a nice little photo. This is one of my guys. Let me get him like that. Now look, this dude right here. You see, you know, this dude right here, man. We. Uh, 
this one thing I don't like about this new generation with the whole, sometimes y- y'all be sharing too much stuff on social media. Remember back in the days when you heard your favorite rapper on the radio station? They wasn't up on the radio station talking about all the kind of stuff that they be doing in the bed. Like what you do in your bed, that's your business. But when I when I see my rappers and my actors that I like being interviewed, I don't want to know what's going on in the bed. All right, let me know when the next movie's coming out. When's the next album coming out? Okay, maybe who you dating right now, you know what I'm saying? How many kids, you had a new baby, something like, stuff like that. But certain stuff, I do not want to know. Y'all be oversharing. Now, this is a dope spot right here. You see, you got to keep the balloon up. They got some obstacles in there. <laughs> this is kind of dope, right? I was watching this earlier. That's a dope little sport. Okay, now look, Suki. This is another one. This is another one I be oversharing. All right, she be oversharing. This is um, she's the she's the final boss of thoughts. All right, when you when you going up the thought level, all right, if you trying to be the supreme thought, you gotta fight the final boss. That's Suki. <laughs> all right, uh, no comment. I'm gonna leave that. I'm, I'm not trying to roast nobody. I'm gonna leave that alone. Though. All right, look at her reaction. Okay, look, the, the mother found the kitten. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was about to say. We about, we about to have a little moment. She was like, the fuck, didn't I tell you not to go around that corner? Oh, I don't care what animal you are, what species. If your mom's catch you doing some shit that you ain't supposed to be doing, you getting that paw to the head. Yeah. All right. Now, look. This is how I used to make my mixtapes, yo. With, with a TDK cassette tape. Bro, I'm old, bro. I'm old. All right. Let me go. All right. Okay. Nice little fit right there. You know, it's, okay. Okay, let's see. Sauce Walker and Nas told me one of his favorite rappers, keeping bars alive. Uh, uh, how do I feel about Sauce Walker? Huh? I never heard any of his music, so let me not let me not be a hater. Like, this is another thing too that I wanted to talk about. Because a lot of y'all yesterday on my Samsung video was like, "Oh, how come a lot of YouTubers are hating on the Galaxy Fold?" Look, man, you yeah, I got some of y'all got to learn the difference between hating and criticizing. Let me tell you real quick. Hating is when you're talking shit about something you don't know or never tried. Like if I say, oh, you you see they got that new restaurant that just opened down the block? And somebody say, yeah, you want to go? Nah, the food is garbage there. Oh, yeah, you went there already? No. So how you know it's garbage? I heard it's garbage. You're a hater because you didn't even taste it. And you're walking around talking about it's garbage. You hating. That's just pure hating. Now, if I go there and then I don't like the food and you say, oh, y'all want to go to that restaurant? I went last week. I ain't like the food. That's not hating. That's me criticizing. Learn the difference, okay? So people, oh, why are you hating on the Galaxy Fold 5? I'm not hating, but I'm not a cheerleader. I got to call some things out when I don't like them. It's just that simple. Let's see, anything else we need to see? Okay, let's see, who this? Okay, Hollywood Unlocked, they be keeping it real spicy. How to avoid the fire hydrant. Yo, bro, come on, man. We was doing this. We was doing this 10 years ago. We used to cut the bottom of a garbage can out. Because there's one hydrant that used to be around the corner from my house until they got wise to it. But we had cut this garbage can out and we used to put the garbage can over it. This is the, the yeah. <laughs> if they, if they, but if they catch you, the fire department catch you doing that shit, they running that hose right through the front of your car. I don't even know if they still do that anymore, but they break your windows, run the hose through the front. Even if there's no fire, they just do that, turn the water on, and they call it a drill. A fire, we, we a fire hydrant drill. I've seen them do that. Remember, I used to work for EMS, yo. I've seen them get a phone call like, oh, somebody parked by the hydrant. Okay, we'll be right there. And that's called learning you a lesson, yo. You're going you to learn, bro. All right, anyway. So let's see, anything spicy going down on Instagram? Yo, man, who's seen Tory Lanez? They gave Tory Lanez 10 years, yo. Damn, yo. I mean, California, he probably on, he probably get out in around three years, but damn, yo. He getting deported right after that, yo. He get, he's definitely getting deported. Let's see anything else going down. Look, here we go again. Uh, no, look now, Suki. Suki might be the supreme thought, but Sexy Red, Sexy Red is like the. She's like if, if this was the the thought mob. All right, if this is the thought mob, Suki is the the Godfather. The, sexy Red is the consigliere. <laughs> she's the she's 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 the underboss of the thought the thought mafia. Let's see anything else we need to see here. Okay. Okay, look at this cat now. So if I find a kitten like this, I'm bringing them home too. I'm sorry. Anyway, okay, honey, All right, Nas and Lil Wayne got an award. That that was a great speech too. I watched it too. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look, yo, bro. So now Lathan, at this age, bro, exit out of that. Now from my outer display, same thing. If I wanted to, you could put your code in, fingerprint sensor, either one. I could be right back on Instagram doing the same thing 
exit out of that. Let's see anything else we need to see from the outer display that we didn't see. eBay, PlayStation. Oh, I could check. I could check my um, Nest cameras. We did gaming. Yeah. So you see, fully functional outer display. Like I said, just make sure you download. Good luck. So RDA, regular daily activities. This is a real phone. This is a real phone. You can do everything you want to do. And like I said, me, I just leave it like this a lot of times. Put it right on the charger, leave it like this. So when I pick it up, I even got to unfold it, keep it moving. Now, I do want to show y'all one more thing. We do got some accessories, okay, from Spigot. Now, you know these cases, they're going to be dirt cheap. I ain't even checked the price. Shout out to Spigot. They just sent me these just for fun. But I I'll leave a link for this up in the description. This is the Air Skin. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Okay, this is the Spigen Air Skin. Since Samsung don't give you a case, you're gonna have to go out and get your case. This one actually looks cool. Now, I just, did I just file the top of that case? Hold up. Okay, my bad, I filed it to the side, but here's how this one looks. You're just gonna snap this on. Now, it does come with the stickers. I'm not gonna apply them because I'm gonna take this right off. Okay, this is the Air Skin. Okay, now this is actually cool. This one makes it feel a little bit, let's make sure this is snapped into place correctly. Okay, oh yeah, look at this. Oh, I like this one. I had to take it to the high voice. I like this. All right, this one, let's see. Oh, it makes it a lot easier to get that flipology. It kind of looks like the uh, tear down cases. Oh, this one is dope. All right, this is the air skin. Okay, I like this one. Now we got another air skin. Okay, this looks like the same one, but without the tear down look to it. Yeah, you see, like I said, it comes with these little stickers that you put like on the sides if you plan on not taking this case off. Yeah, this is just a fully transparent version. Let's see. If you want to showcase the color of your phone, it's going to look like this. Yeah, this is nice. Give you a little protection. You see, now this case is going to be like 20 bucks. Why couldn't this be in the box? This is what I'm saying. This shit right here should have been in the box. Okay, so that's the air skin. And we got one more accessory. This is the glass TR. All right, temper glass for the outside. Let's go ahead and slap this on real quick. Okay, now, I'm a temper glass screen protector installerologist. <laughs> so I can do this right now without even looking at the books, without looking at nothing else. Matter of fact, let's 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 do this live, yeah? Okay, let's see what you get inside. Okay, do we get two of these? Okay, actually comes with two, just in case you mess up on one. It's going to be your wet wipes, microfiber cleaning cloth, all that good stuff. So this is what I like to do. Just get a little wipe down. Okay. Just like that. Make sure you get all the dirt, dust, and debris. Then you take this. Drop it on. Bung, just like that. And I leave this. All right, so this way no hairs can sneak up on the table. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be the back. Okay, and that's the top. Just like that. Press in the middle, press and slide. Wait about 30 seconds. Now, since I got two of these, I'm not gonna wait the full 30 seconds. I just want y'all to see how to do it, but wait 30 seconds if you're at home. Then you peel this off. Okay, you see it's on? Take the outer display off. Oh, look at that. This is bubble-free installation. Just that fast, but it protects the main part of your glass. Then you drop a case on it. You see? this. Not protected, but then you drop your case on it. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, now your case has the glass fully protected. Snap it into place, and you're good. Now you got your protection. I think I'm gonna actually rock this because um, this one looks dope. <laughs> this one looks dope. Oh, this is fire right here. Let's see, make sure we got wireless charge through this. There it is. But it makes it a lot easier to get your flipology. Oh, but look at that. It's a little loose. Let me try that again. Yeah, it's a little bit on the loose side, so you might want to use those stickers that came with it. Did I follow? Okay, look. Yeah, it comes with these little stickers right here. So you put those stickers on the inside, and it's going to keep it from being loose. Loose in the caboose, but I like that. <laughs> Y'all used to say that, loose in the caboose. I used to be like, that chick is loose in the caboose. Anyway. All right, so these are the accessories. Let's get and clean this up. Anybody need one of these tempered glass screen protectors? I got an extra one. Uh, send that over to you. Now, one last thing to talk about. 
let's talk about the flaws factor now for this we gotta grab you see the moto the moto did come with a case so the motorola came with this case little clear case i this is clear case for the back okay let's talk about the flaws factor you go out to dinner your homeboy got the razor you got the z okay where do you fit on the food chain i would say both of y'all are dinosaurs okay both of you you might be a brontosaurus he might be a tyrannosaurus rex y'all both top of the food chain dinosaurs there, there's really no better this one is way better these are both dope phones they both have the same same kind of cool features although the moto doesn't have always on display but it does have tent mode i kind of like tent mode okay galaxy doesn't have tent mode you know what i'm saying like moto has the tent mode but when you're laying them flat like this the Galaxy has always on display. This one, you have to actually move the phone or touch the phone to get the peak display. All right, matter of fact, the peak display only works, I believe, on this one. Let's go ahead and close this up. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so you get the peak display on this one. So this one, you don't even get the peak display on the outer display. Okay, you're just gonna have to move it like this. Like this, Look, let, let, let them both turn off, right? Matter of fact, let me help it out. Okay, so now pick this one up. Look at it. Pick this one up. You see, both of these, if you pick them up and just look at it, you'll get the face unlocks. Let me see if I can do that off off camera. Oh, hold on. Let's, do, let's, let's try it again. Pick this up and just look at it. Okay, that one face unlocked. Let's try this one. Okay, pick this one up. I keep forgetting they changed the button. All right. Okay, that one works too. So both of them, you just pick up, look at them, and they pop open. This one just has a little bit more outer display. But both of these, you can't go wrong with either one of these. I'm saying the floss factor is a tie. All right. Now, I promised this video wasn't gonna be too long. I lied, <laughs> okay? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these phones, which one y'all like better. And if there's anything I missed during this video and that I didn't cover, hit me up in the comments. I got a notification right there. Now that hit me up in the comments and um I'll cover it when I do a little update video. Now a quick side note, this is what I do um 30% of the day. I sit around and I take pictures of white shoes and different angles. <laughs> What's wrong with me, bro? Like, 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 I try to catch shoes and some cute angles. Like, like upside down. Just like that. This is so much fun though.